Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. A son of the South, a citizen of the world. Jimmy Carter's early years. James Earl Carter Jr. was born in Plains, Georgia on October 1, 1924. The small town surrounded by peanut farms instilled in him a strong work ethic and a deep connection to the land. Carter's childhood was shaped by the segregated South, witnessing firsthand the injustices faced by African Americans. Even as a boy, Carter exhibited a thirst for knowledge and a compassionate spirit. He excelled in school and developed a strong moral compass guided by his faith and family. After graduating from the U.S. Naval Academy in 1946, Carter embarked on a successful career as a naval officer serving on submarines. This experience broadened his horizons, exposing him to different cultures and ways of life. It also instilled in him a deep appreciation for service and sacrifice. These formative years laid the foundation for Carter's future endeavors, shaping the man who would one day lead a nation and dedicate his life to peace and humanitarianism. Answering the Call, Carter's Journey into Politics In 1953, tragedy struck the Carter family when Jimmy's father passed away. He returned to Plains to manage the family's peanut farm and business. This transition back to civilian life marked a turning point in Carter's life. He became increasingly involved in local politics, serving on the Sumter County Board of Education and later in the Georgia State Senate. Carter's experiences in his community fueled his desire to serve the public good. Driven by his strong moral compass and commitment to social justice, Carter decided to run for governor of Georgia in 1970. His campaign focused on themes of honesty, integrity, and efficiency. He promised to restore trust in government and address racial inequality. Carter's message resonated with voters and he won the election, becoming the 76th governor of Georgia. As governor, Carter continued to champion progressive causes, advocating for education reform, environmental protection, and civil rights. His tenure in Georgia would serve as a stepping stone to the national stage. The Outsider in the Oval Office Carter's Presidency, 1977 to 1981. In 1976, Jimmy Carter, the little-known former governor of Georgia, launched an improbable bid for the presidency. Capitalizing on his image as an outsider, untainted by the scandals of Washington, Carter promised to restore integrity and honesty to the White House. He campaigned on a message of hope and change, appealing to Americans who were disillusioned by the Vietnam War and the Watergate scandal. Carter's message of humility and compassion resonated with voters and he narrowly defeated incumbent President Gerald Ford. He took office in 1977, pledging to make government competent and compassionate. His presidency was marked by a commitment to human rights, energy independence, and peace in the Middle East. Carter's presidency was not without its challenges, however. He faced a struggling economy, an energy crisis, and the Iranian hostage crisis, which cast a shadow over his final year in office. Navigating a turbulent world, the Iranian hostage crisis and the energy crisis. The Iranian hostage crisis, which began in November 1979, presented one of the most significant challenges of Carter's presidency. Following the Iranian revolution and the overthrow of the Shah, Iranian students stormed the U.S. Embassy in Tehran, taking 52 American diplomats and citizens hostage. The crisis unfolded over 444 days, dominating headlines and casting a pall over Carter's presidency. He prioritized the safe release of the hostages, pursuing diplomatic channels and resisting calls for military action. The energy crisis further complicated Carter's presidency. The 1970s witnessed soaring oil prices and gasoline shortages, impacting the American economy and way of life. Carter recognized the urgent need for energy independence, promoting conservation efforts and investing in alternative energy sources. He established the Department of Energy and signed the National Energy Act of 1978, aiming to reduce U.S. dependence on foreign oil. Despite his efforts, the energy crisis persisted, contributing to economic woes and impacting public opinion. Section 5, the Camp David Accords, a triumph of diplomacy. Despite the challenges he faced, Carter achieved a significant foreign policy triumph with the Camp David Accords. In 1978, he invited Egyptian President Anwar Sadat 
and Israeli Prime Minister Menachem begin to Camp David, the presidential retreat in Maryland. For 13 days, Carter worked tirelessly to broker peace between the two warring nations. He acted as a mediator, facilitating dialogue and building trust between Sadat and Begin. Carter's efforts culminated in the signing of the Camp David Accords, a framework for peace between Egypt and Israel. The Accords led to the 1979 Egypt-Israel Peace Treaty, formally ending 30 years of war between the two countries. The Camp David Accords stand as a testament to Carter's commitment to peace and his skills as a diplomat. For his role in negotiating the Accords, Carter was awarded the 2002 Nobel Peace Prize. Section 6, A Legacy Forged in Peace, The Carter Center and Global Conflict Resolution. After leaving the White House in 1981, Jimmy Carter could have easily retired to a life of comfort and reflection. Instead, he embarked on a second, even more remarkable chapter, dedicating himself to advancing peace, democracy, and global health. In 1982, he and Rosalind founded the Carter Center, a nonprofit organization committed to waging peace, fighting disease, and building hope. The Carter Center has worked tirelessly to resolve conflicts, promote democracy and human rights, and improve health outcomes around the world. Carter has personally traveled to some of the most volatile regions, engaging in conflict resolution and election monitoring. He has mediated peace talks, observed elections, and spoken out against human rights abuses. The Carter Center has also been at the forefront of the fight against neglected tropical diseases, working to eradicate guinea worm disease and combat river blindness. Section 7, Building Homes, Building Hope, Carter, and Habitat for Humanity. One of the most enduring images of Jimmy Carter is of him, hammer in hand, building homes with Habitat for Humanity. Since 1984, Carter and Roslyn have dedicated a week each year to working alongside volunteers, constructing homes for families in need. Their involvement with Habitat for Humanity exemplifies their unwavering commitment to service and their belief in the power of compassion. Carter's work with Habitat for Humanity transcends the act of building houses. It embodies his belief in the dignity of all people and the importance of providing decent, affordable housing. His hands-on approach, working side-by-side -side with volunteers and future homeowners, reflects his humility and his deep connection to the human spirit. Walking the Walk Carter's Unwavering Faith and Commitment to Service Throughout his life, Jimmy Carter's actions have been guided by his deep Christian faith. He has often spoken about the importance of faith in his life and how it informs his worldview. Carter's faith is not merely a matter of words, but a driving force behind his commitment to service. He sees service to others as a moral imperative, a way to live out his faith in tangible ways. Carter's faith is also reflected in his humility and compassion. He has never sought the limelight or personal gain. Instead, he has consistently used his platform to amplify the voices of the marginalized and to advocate for those less fortunate. His unwavering commitment to peace, justice, and human dignity serves as an inspiration to people of all faiths and backgrounds. We can always do better. Carter's enduring message of optimism. Despite witnessing firsthand the complexities of global conflicts and the persistence of poverty and disease, Jimmy Carter has never lost his fundamental optimism. He believes in the power of human potential and the possibility of creating a more just and peaceful world. Carter's optimism is not naive, but rooted in his faith in humanity and his belief that progress, however incremental, is always possible. Carter often reminds people that we can always do better. He challenges us to never become complacent in the face of injustice or despair. His enduring message of optimism serves as a call to action, urging us to embrace our shared humanity and work together to build a brighter future. A Life Well Lived Tributes and Reflections on Jimmy Carter's 100th Birthday As Jimmy Carter celebrates his 100th birthday, he does so as a revered elder statesman, a Nobel laureate, and a humanitarian icon. Tributes pour in from around the world. Recognizing his extraordinary life and legacy, World leaders, fellow humanitarians, and everyday citizens express their gratitude for his unwavering commitment to peace, justice, and human dignity. On this milestone birthday, Carter's legacy is celebrated not only for his accomplishments, but also for the example he has set. He is lauded for his integrity, humility, and unwavering commitment to service. His life stands as a testament to the power of one person to make a difference in the world. 
The Continuing Impact of a Humble Servant Leader Jimmy Carter's life and legacy extend far beyond his presidency or his humanitarian work. He has left an indelible mark on American society and the world, inspiring generations with his unwavering commitment to peace, justice, and service. His example reminds us that true leadership is not about power or position, but about serving others and making a positive impact on the world. As we reflect on his extraordinary life, we are reminded that each of us has the capacity to make a difference. We can all strive to embody the values that have defined Jimmy Carter's life, compassion, integrity, humility, and a deep commitment to serving others. His legacy serves as a beacon of hope and inspiration, urging us to create a more just and peaceful world for all. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States.